Yes, Andrew, CNBC's parent company, Comcast, uh, reporting results adjusted. Earnings came in at 56 cents a share uh, compared to a consensus estimate of 48 cents. Revenue was above analyst forecasts as well. Comcast saw record broadband additions during the quarter. That's a real highlight. It also uh, says 33 million customers have signed up for the Peacock streaming service over the first six months, and most of those metrics well above uh, what expectations were. It's a very uh, interesting breakdown of, of all the, uh, the varied and sundry uh, assets at, uh, at Comcast. Obviously, the cable has been a bright spot, especially uh, through this, uh, this period. But remember, there's theme parks, which actually broke even if they back out of charge, uh, which is amazing since only, I think, uh, California is not open. I think Orlando uh, might be open. Some interesting things, guys, in, in the cable operations. I don't know whether you're you uh, able to notice. Even though revenue was down, EBITDA was up because there's no, the, the expenses are so much lower. Uh, and uh, I, I don't think we actually saw that in, in the broadcast uh, division. Uh, but some interesting metrics in terms of what we look at when we look at Comcast, and that is uh, usually EBITDA or, or cash flow. And most of those metrics were above expectations. So you can see right now the stock uh, up just a little bit. We'll see if that changes as people delve into these results uh, back. Do you see anything yeah, in there? Yeah, one other thing that just. Is, very interesting. One uh, thing that jumped out at me, Joe, is just that they're making the comment that the decision to reach some of the titles on paid video on demand was profitable, taking Trolls World Tour and Crude's A New Age. I paid 20 bucks for each of those to watch them. Um, and, and they say that they're excited about 2021 with the new releases that are coming out for Fast, Fast and Furious 9 and Minions 2 to bring them to audience with the audiences with that hybrid distribution model. And these are just more of the changes that we're going to continue to see in these industries um, because they were pulled forward by the pandemic. These are things that might have happened, but they're happening a lot faster because of the pandemic. Cable network revenue decreased 6.4%. But adjusted EBITDA increased 22.4 percent, so down to 2.7 <laughs> billion in in revenue. But then uh, a 22 percent gain. Because none of us are traveling, none of us are eating out. Reflecting lower revenue, more than offset by lower programming and production expenses. I'm just. Should we feel really yeah. productive? I'm feeling really productive. I'm feeling proud. I'm feeling proud. Uh, didn't happen with broadcast. That's, what uh, did it. that's more normal. Yeah. Uh, broadcast revenue decreased 12 percent. And adjusted EBITDA decreased 24.3 percent. Well, that reflected mm -hmm. lower content and, and, and advertising uh, revenue. But as usual, what, what's really uh, performing is, is broadband, which is uh, amazing during this period. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.